Today's legislation includes a series of recommendations from a special panel that was commissioned by our administration that were aimed at establishing a well-functioning MBTA that's reliable for riders and fiscally responsible for taxpayers who unequivocally invest their hard-earned money in this system no matter where they live in the Commonwealth. First, this bill creates a fiscal and management control board consisting of five members. One member will be referred to me by the Senate President, Stan Rosenberg, and one will be referred by House Speaker Robert DeLeo. The board will remain in place until June 30, 2018, but can be extended longer based on the, an agreement with the Secretary of Transportation. The Fiscal and Management Control Board will function as the board of the MBTA and have all the powers, responsibilities, and obligations of that board. The board will be appointed in addition to the MassDOT board. Notably, the MassDOT has many other responsibilities, especially now during the construction season, and it's imperative that we have more manpower focused specifically on improving the T to restore the reliable, sustainable system here in the Commonwealth. Some of their responsibilities will include the authority to establish separate operating and capital budgets, each with clearly designated revenue sources and uses, establish a one- and five-year operating budget beginning with the fiscal 2017 budget, establish five- and 20-year capital plans, establish rigorous performance management system and performance metrics to maximize own source revenues, increase ridership, reduce absenteeism, and address vacancies. Review contracts that are entered into before the establishment of the board, including those related to the commuter rail and paratransit services, and authorize the ability to increase, decrease any fee rate or charge. The Fiscal Management Control Board will also be directed to submit certain, certain reporting requirements to provide a benchmark for their progress to the public. Next, this bill creates the position of Chief Administrator who shall assume the role of the general manager of the MBTA during the existence of the Fiscal Management Control Board. Finally, the bill includes a few notable details, including a requirement for a full and independent audit of the MBTA's retirement fund according to standards set by GASB, the Government Accounting Standards Board. And under these provisions, the MBTA cannot make a single payment to the fund on behalf of a new hire until the audit is completed and the audit shall take place within 180 days of this legislation's enactment. I look forward to working with the legislature to get this bill passed so we can truly fix the T. And I know my Secretary of Transportation, Stephanie Pollack, does too.